we were uh, looking at a lesson uh, with young children, grade two students, uh, thinking about um, growth and change in animals. And we began by asking them, uh, why do we have zoos? But instead of just brainstorming, I presented, you know, here are four reasons we might have zoos, and the, and the children were invited to rank those from the best reason to the fourth best reason. So now they have to make, so notice, as soon as I give a list, I can turn it into a thinking question by inviting you to pick from or rank my list. So the children were invited, do we have zoos to bring people to visit our city, to study animals, to observe animals, to protect animals? And they talked about which is the best reason, which is the fourth best reason. So that's a way that we started the lesson. And then we invited the children, if you were to create an enclosure for an animal, what would you do? They give us some ideas. Well, what if we thought about this? Now what changes would you make? So we put the task, the challenge up front, and then as the children learn new content, they continually get to revisit and rethink uh, their, their ideas, their responses to that. Uh, another example at a, at a grade seven level, looking at Acadian deportation, uh, inviting students to think about, uh, you know, were the British just in the way they, they treated the Acadians? And in, in a critical thinking lesson, rather than saying, well, here's all the things that happened, uh, we played the song from the band called Acadian Driftwood and invited the students to say, well, what can you learn from that song about who the Acadians were, about what the British might have done? And they have to draw out the evidence and then begin exploring, but why might the British have done that? Would, would that be a legitimate reason? So notice there's a reversal there. Instead of me saying, here's a reading to do, or here's me telling you what happened, we use uh, a song, uh, digging into pop culture even, for students to, to decode that, to dissect that, and then begin to responding. So the invitation to think is up front, and the kids are engaged always in building that background.